Hey, I'd like to welcome you to another episode of the Mission Matters Business Podcast, your source for all things business. My name is Adam Torres. You can follow me on Instagram at Ask Adam Torres. Keep up with my book releases, book tour schedule, signings, all that other good stuff. Always love to connect with you there. And as always, if you'd like to apply to become a co-author of one of my upcoming books, just head on over to the website, missionmatters.com, and click on Become an Author to Apply. All right, so today I have Morris Sims on the line, and he's founder and CEO over at Sims Training and Consulting. Morris, welcome to the show. Well, thanks, Adam. Appreciate it. I'm glad to be here. Oh, man. So uh, I'm excited about today's topic, Morris. So pushing through your sales plateau, a lot of business owners, entrepreneurs, executives out there listening right now. And uh, and the way I look at it is we're all sales organizations. You have a product that you're trying to give value into uh, out there to the world. Um, you have to sell it. Like uh, That's just the way it works. So I'm excited to get into how we break through that plateau, not just for my audience, but also for our organization. And you're the guy. Um, so before we get into that, though, I want to go further into what you're doing over at Sim training and consulting. So tell us a little bit more about your firm, please. Yeah, Adam, great question. Thank you very much. The uh, real identity that we have is trying to help people get better at what they do. And we're working with salespeople for the most part, professional salespeople. And our real vision for the future, our passion is helping people get better at what they do because when you get better at what you do, sales increase. And when sales increase, well, then revenue and sales increase, and that's always what we're kind of looking for, isn't it? Man, I love it. Um, yes, we are. And uh, that being said, so at the end of this, I'm going to give you the opportunity to leave your website, social media, whatever you want to send traffic. But I do want to make sure that the right types of uh, individuals and businesses connect. So that being said, um, what are the right types of businesses and or individuals that are typically a good fit to work with Sims Training and, and Consulting? Well, we specialize in that professional salesperson, Adam, the person who's out there uh, doing the doing the sales thing every day, going through that sales process, looking for prospects and trying to find the right people to, to help with their product and help do business with. And it's, it's those professional salespeople out there who sometimes need a coach. Sometimes they just want somebody to talk to. Sometimes they, they're looking for a process that they can use to implement to to get past that plateau, to grow their business. And those are the kind of things that we love to do, and it's the kind of people that uh, that we love to do business with, but also the, the any entrepreneur. Because as you said, Adam, we're all in sales. We've always been in sales. I mean, the best sale I ever made was to my lovely wife of 42 years, and I haven't ever made a sale that good yet. <laughs> that's awesome. Uh, lo- love to hear it, and congrats. That's uh, 42 years. Congrats. That's, uh, that's an accomplishment. Um, so Morris, I want to uh, I want to get a little bit further into today's topic. So uh, as you mentioned, we're all salespeople. Um, pushing through your sales plateau, I feel like um, that's a big deal. So whether you're new, starting out, I mean everybody's plateau is going to be different, right? So where do you want to start with this topic? Well, it really comes down to I believe four or five very basic fundamental things that that we have to do, and and the first one really, Adam, has to do with clarity being really clear about what it is that you want, you know, what do you want your business to accomplish? What do you want your business to, to be? What, what are you trying to achieve in your business? What legacy do you want to leave with your business? Defining what it is you want, being really, really clear about that is probably the, in my opinion, the number one foundational idea that we've all got to grasp and get a hold of in order to, to begin to grow our business. Otherwise, we're flying around in 62 different directions. That's awesome. Where do you find that, um, and, and I know this is, I don't want to oversimplify this, but I know you've been doing this for a long time, and I know you've worked with a lot of different people, and you've been in the, in the sales field yourself for many years. Um, where do you find most individuals go wrong with pushing through this plateau? I know it's going to be different for everyone, but I do know themes arise. Where do you find a lot of people that, like they just get stuck? It, 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 we get stuck in the process. We get stuck in, in doing the same thing every day. We get stuck in uh, being concerned and worried about where that next prospect is going to come from. Or if, if we've got a whole pool of prospects, wondering where that next big case is going to come from. Where's that next big sale going to come from? And we get down into the minutia instead of taking some time to back off and look at the whole big picture and say, okay, 
what is it I'm trying to accomplish? And the other other foundational piece is, you know, why is it I'm doing this? And, and people look at me when I ask that one at them, they say, well, Maurice, I'm trying to pay the bills. I've, I've got a mortgage <laughs> to pay, you know? And they think, yeah, that's why we're all in this thing. That's all we do. But why is it that you're in this business? There are a lot of ways, Adam, I can earn a living besides being a professional salesperson. And there are, <laughs> frankly, it's a lot easier in a lot of other places. The rewards aren't as great, but I can pay the bills doing a zillion different things. Why is it that I want to be a professional salesperson selling and helping people make decisions about this particular product or this particular business that I'm a part of? So what do I want? Why do I want it? Uh, setting up specific strategies, strategies being two, not 200, not 20, not 10, mm -hmm. two strategies, because we've got to be able to focus, and then setting action plans and an implementation plan. Those, those are the five foundational pillars, if you, if you will, of growing your business. If I can answer those five questions, if I can get those five things really locked down, then I can begin to, to focus on doing the things in my action plan and my implementation plan that are going to help me grow my business, and I'm not going to get stuck with the, the day in and day out minutia that we all tend to get stuck in from time to time. Man, that's uh, well said. Uh, and let's spend a little bit of time. I want to get into your thought. I love introducing new podcasts to my guests, so I want to spend a little bit of time that we have left um, on, on your podcast. So uh, the Business of Sales podcast. First off, uh, what was the inspiration for starting this? Well, it, it comes back to our whole passion of helping people get better at what they do because I believe that as salespeople, as professional salespeople, we, we don't have to, we don't take time to worry about the business side as much as maybe we should. We're, we're again, just very much into the minutia of the sales process and moving forward and taking care of the people that we have sold and the people that we haven't sold but we hope to sell in the future. And de dealing with all of the stuff that, that comes with being a professional salesperson and it, 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 we've got to stop and take about, think about the business that we're in because that's where we are. Even, even, when we're, even if you're an employee, even if you're a salesperson working for a sales manager and you get a W-2 at the end of the year, you're still really and truly, you are an independent business person. It's just how you get paid. So you've got to think like a business person. And that's that it's the topic of one of my next podcasts is going to be thinking like a business person. Because if we're not thinking like business people, then we're not going to have a business that's going to grow. Man, Morris, I can talk to you about this all day long. I love sales, love sales people, love sales trainers. Because I mean, you, you've been in business, business a long time. I know you have stories for days. Um, but that being said, we're about out of time for this episode. Um, if somebody's listening to this and they want to learn more about Sims training and consulting, and of course, connect to follow and listen to your podcast, the Business of Sales podcast, what's the best way for them to connect with you and your brand? Well, my email, Adam is Morris, M-O-R-R-I-S, at morrissims.com. Tried to make it as difficult as possible. Uh, <laughs> Morris, M-O-R-R-I-S, at Morris Sims, so that's M-O-R-R-I-S, S-I-M-S, dot com. Uh, a lot of S's in there, but, but that's, uh, that's my email, and I, I spend a lot of time, too much time probably on email. Uh, the website is morrissims.com. And uh, the podcast, The Business of Sales, is out there on Spotify and iTunes and, and other other sundry uh, podcast platforms that uh, lips and publishes it on. So it's, it's out there. If you want to give us a listen, we sure would love to have you come by. Uh, we've got some great guests that uh, have been a part of our show so far, and we've got about 17 episodes out there. In fact, uh, Adam Torres was a guest on our show. Oh man, yeah, no, and it was a pleasure recording with you, and uh, no, definitely, I, it was a lot of fun, and I think, and that's why I was happy to bring you on the show and make sure that my audience 
um, got to got to hear what you were doing and what you were all about because uh, I think this is going to be a great a great sales podcast for them to listen to really and to sharpen their skills and and benefit from your many years in the business. Um, well, Morris, again, really appreciate you coming on the show and to the audience as always. Thank you for tuning in. Hope you got a lot of value out of this. If you did, don't forget to subscribe to the podcast, uh, leave me a review on the Apple iTunes Store, and if you're watching this on our YouTube channel, Mission Matters Business, definitely give us a subscribe there, but also leave some comments in the video. Love to know what kind of projects and things that you're working on. And Morris, thanks again for coming on the show.